Hello everyone and you know welcome to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've even posted a video. The last time I posted it was last summer. So yeah about a whole year but you know we're here and today what I'm going to be doing for you guys. Some things I picked up from NYX Cosmetics. Um, so I actually watch a couple beauty people on Snapchat and I saw that this roll-on shimmer was being reviewed um, and they demoed it and I was like oh my god I have to get that so I did I got them in four shades another thing I also got that I'm really excited about is their cosmic metals lippies um, I tried it on earlier and I was like yeah I'm gonna have to do something with this so yeah watch the video and if you like it um i will link it down below i mean i'm gonna do that anyway because you know nyx deserves their props they did a good job so without any further ado i'm going to start the video so i'm starting with fresh brows they're already done i'm taking um a color that you will soon see um in my transition um, this is from the Morphe Mattes palette, um, and I'm doing it to both eyes, blending in circular motions on this big fluffy concealer brush. Next, I'm taking an e.l.f. small blending brush with a couple darker colors, and um, I'm blending it a little bit below that transition crease, and then take going back with a bigger, fluffier brush um, to blend those colors together, because we don't want any harsh lines. And we're doing it to both sides um, for, you know, equality. Um, so finally, we're taking the two darkest colors on the same small elf blending brush in the outer V. This is going to be a little out of the shot. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I didn't even notice this is how I was recording. But it's going to be the same method as you saw before um, with the middle colors. The darkest color we're going to take on the outer V and then blend into the rest that we had there already with the bigger fluffier brush. And again, doing it to both sides to make sure they're even and stuff. Wow, my face is gorgeous in this shot. Couldn't do any better. Good job, Farah. Um, I switched brushes because, well, I switched to the Wet n Wild blending. <laughs> brush um, because the bigger one was not as precise as I wanted it to so that's what I'm doing and I'm also dancing you know this is the Negro spiritual playlist on Apple music yeah it's lit but anyway so I'm taking the cosmic metal lip um, on my eyelids because the roll-on shimmers are pretty much powders and they won't really stick to your eye well if you just put them on straight up so I'm using the lip shimmer or the lip metal whatever as a base a sticky base so the roll-on shimmer has something to stick to so I'm going to take the roll-on in salmon and put that straight on my eyes just straight up rolling it on there and I just like how easy this is it, you don't have to do anything you don't have to use your fingers you just go straight from the package onto your eye and it's just so convenient and it's so pretty so I'm going back with the Wet n Wild blending brush, which is only 99 cents, by the way. I'm literally going to go get like five of them. And I'm going to blend out the edges of that. Um, I'm going back in with the transition color, the very first one, um, to blend out the edges a little more so it can like really get seamed into the rest of the look. And now I'm preparing my lashes. The glue is on and I'm doing that so they can shape the shape of my eye a little bit better and I'm taking CoverGirl mascara by Queen Latifah um, to prep my lashes for the application of the falsies um, and while I'm waiting for the glue to dry I'm taking LA Girl Pro orange concealer under my eye to fix that discoloration orange is what's best for blue undertone demarcations on your face because it they cancel each other out they're opposites on the color wheel so now I'm applying the lash. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but you'll get a better shot in a minute on the other eye. Um, this eye was so problematic the entire look. It was so long. Um, I don't really put lashes on to that far into my inner corner, and it was giving me trouble the entire, the entire time. 
So here, I'm showing you how I actually fix um, if a lash isn't really sticking on well. I put a little on a small detailer brush and fix it. Um, but it's not going to stay there because, again, in my inner corner is where you're going to get problems. So I eventually end up cutting it, cutting it short. It was just too long for me and it was bothering me. And the other eye didn't give me those problems. So, yeah, you can see me trying to fix it, but it ain't going to work, girl. You need to stop. Just stop. Give it up. I really tried, though. I really did. But here you can have a better look of me applying an actual lash. I put it into the middle first and then I use my fingers to help it get on the outer edges. Um, yeah, so outer and then to the inner. The inner corner is what's really important. At least to me it is because that's where that's really gonna make or break your lash for me. Um, if it's in the inner corner it's gonna bother you and you're gonna cry and crying is not good for that lash glue. I'm telling you that now. Like you will be looking stupid. Um, so yeah, lashes are on and I am happy. Um, I'm putting more of the under concealer around my mouth because I have discoloration there as well. I'm still dancing and jigging to this playlist. Like it's so lit y'all. Y'all really need to go listen to it. It's so good. But I'm blending it all around my mouth. You see, it's still bothering me. I mix these two foundations. Um, they're both drugstore foundations. Um, one's light. One's too light, one's too dark. So I mix them to get like the perfect little shade. I mix foundations all the time because I can never find one that's like perfect for my skin. So if y'all ever find that, let me know because I would love to not have to do this. <laughs> but um, I'm taking a bigger concealer brush to apply dots all over my face. And once I apply them, I'm going to take my Real Techniques body um, sponge it's huge um, and it makes blending so much faster so uh, I'm gonna use that and blend out my foundation like all over my face um, make sure I don't know if I did this in the video but you should make sure to get it on your chin so you don't have floating head syndrome but I don't think I did that because um, when I mixed the two foundations, they just match so well. I didn't really feel the need to, but you should do that all the time, no matter what kind of foundation you have on your face. Because you never know like what kind of oxidation and stuff might creep on you later on in the day. So yeah, we are blending everything out. Wow, I am singing that song, boy. Singing so hard. I can't sing for nothing. Not at all, <laughs> but I try. So once I'm done, well, <laughs> the eyelash is still bothering me, um, but I'm going to take Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe to highlight. Um, I put a little bit, I don't take the highlight all the way out, like up to my temple. Some people do that, I've never really understood why, but you don't need that much. <laughs> um, so yeah. These are the places I highlight because these are where, these are the places where you know the sun naturally hits your face, and I blend that out with the other end of that face sponge from Real Techniques. Um, blend that pretty well. Uh, once I do that, I go back on the side I use for my foundation to like really blend the edges of that concealer into the foundation, because sometimes you can get harsh lines and. Yeah, we don't want that. We want everything to look seamless, like fluid. Yeah, We're trying to be cute. We ain't trying to have no lines on our face. So blend all of that out, and then I'm gonna go in a, wow. I'm gonna go over those edges with the other end eventually. Okay, there, <laughs> finally. I. It takes a lot of me to a lot for me to be happy with blending and stuff, but you know, eventually I get there. It may take years, but whatever. So I'm mixing the the airspun powder in translucent or natural, and Ben Nye luxury powder in topaz to bake with um, because I found the airspun was a little too light for me. You know, it wasn't as dark skin friendly as I'd like it to be. So I mix it with Topaz, which is an orange powder. 
to give me some color, return some color to my face because I don't like being washed out. So I'm taking um, Black Radiance Press Powder and Cafe to do a little bit of contouring, light contouring. Um, this is a buffing brush from Real Techniques and I'm using it on my cheeks and you know up to my temples. And once I do that, I take um, a smaller tapered Real Techniques brush that you'll see in a second. Um, and on that, I take a darker pressed powder, um, same from Back Gradients, and that's gonna be in Rich Mahogany. Um, just to like, yeah, that's me doing it right now. Just to give myself a little bit more of a cut. I just wanna cut that cheek out. But yeah, so it's really good to, you know, practice taking darker colors and blending them into a transition color because it just makes everything look much more natural. And I use, also take that on my nose because it's easier to reach in those small little spaces. Um, I take the Real Techniques blush brush with Unfortunately, my phone stopped recording for some reason um, when I was, you know, in the middle of baking. Um, so you didn't get to see me do the rest of my face. Um, but I, what, what I really wanted to show you guys is how I'm going to apply the um, NYX Cosmetic Metal that I have in Speed of Light. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you how it applies on the lips. I'm going to be using a lip liner, sorry I have something in my teeth, but I'm going to be using a lip liner and this is a Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner in Simma Brown now. <laughs> That's a very cute name. Um, so I'm going to line my lips with this first. And my lips are a little red and dry because this is actually the third time I'm recording this. Yeah, I'm still new to the little recording game, I had some technical difficulties. And now that our lips are dry, it's gonna be a pain, but we're gonna get there. So, I'm lining my lips because, I mean, I've never been one to like wear any lipstick straight up unless it's like a nude kind of color. And by nude, I mean a color similar to my skin tone. So, um, yeah. You'll hardly always see me um, putting on the planet. Or any lip. And then blending it out and using that. So I lined the outside and did the inner corners. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna take the lip metal. Cosmic metal, sorry. Just one, that was just one swipe, y'all. So cute. So what I like about this is, like in contrast to like their lip lingeries, cause their lip lingeries come in like similar packaging. Um, it's not drying at all. Like it's very creamy. Um, it's not streaky. It just looks like that on the top because you know there's less product on the brush. But um, it's creamy. It's moisturizing. Like you're not your lips aren't gonna feel dry after putting it on. And I'm down for that. I'm like really here for that. Like next you did that for real. And this is the finished look. I'm just really here for this, like. I've been looking for a shiny lip for a long time, cause I love shiny stuff. Yes. But it's not sticky, like. My lips are just doing this now because I've like put it, taken it off like three times already. And my lips are going through it right now, I'm not gonna lie. I think. This is bomb. 
Um, it is definitely worth the money. The lip shimmers are $2.80. They're on sale right now for $2.80. Normally they're $4. Um, and this, uh, I don't think this one is on, was on sale. Normally it's like seven and some change probably. But um, they were on sale for $5.25, some of the shades were. And what you guys didn't get to see in the um, video of me getting my face done and all that stuff was that I actually used salmon for my highlights. So I actually have it on under my brows. I don't know if the camera's like picking that up or anything. So it's like under my brows, on my uh, cheekbone, on both sides, um, my nose and my cupid's bow. Like, they're so versatile. You can use them like all over your face, not just your eye. I think for $2.80, they're definitely worth the money. Um, and then, so, Speed of Light. I always wanna say Shining Light, but it's Speed of Light. It's a cute name. Um, it is a rose gold with shimmer. So these are the descriptions. I think they're pretty true to color. Um, the color Salmon, which is the one I did see on Makeup by Aloe Snapchat. Um, it did look a little different, and it turned out a little different on my eyes, but she's much lighter than me, so that could have been the issue there. But, you know, I am not mad at it at all. Like, I think this went very well. Cosmetic Metal, it is in the shade uh, Speed of Light. And um, for what they say on the website, so Salmon is a salmon pink with gold glitter. Um, Onyx is the black one that I have, which is this one. And it is the black with multicolored glitter. Um, I also have purple, which is this. And it is a purple with blue undertones and multicolored glitter. There's mauve pink which is this one, and that is a pink with the gold and silver glitter. Um, just really wanna thank you guys for you know staying through the entire video. Um, make sure you subscribe, um, tell your friends that this wasn't like a sponsored video or anything. I just own that many like NYX products, cause they're good products. NYX, you did that. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys next video. Thank you. Thank y'all, y'all did that, we did this. All right, so, bye y'all. <laughs>